rhapsody of realities Give me your life for meaning every day My life made perfect with rhapsody Hallelujah! Good morning and welcome once again to another reading of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is June the 20th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Don't Forget Who You Are. Our opening verse is from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 from the New King James and I read, But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. God gave us His Word to enable us see ourselves the way He sees us, understand things from His perspective, and live to fulfill His perfect will. God's Word reveals God's image and opinion of you, which is the image and opinion He wants you to have of yourself. So as soon as you study the word and see your true image and identity, retain the picture. Don't forget who you are. James chapter 1 verses 23 to 24 says, For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Observe the underlined portion. Interestingly, it doesn't say that the one who doesn't do the word forgot what he looks like. Rather, it says such a fellow is like a man who looks carefully at his own natural face in a mirror, thoughtfully observes himself, and then goes off and forgets the kind or the type of man that he saw. God's word reveals these type or kind of person you are, the species of being that you are. That's extraordinary. For example, in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, the mirror, the word, shows that you are a partaker of the divine nature, an associate of the God kind. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22, the mirror shows that you are seated together with Christ, and all things are under your feet. You have dominion over all things. You reign victoriously over Satan, sickness, failure, and death. Hallelujah. This is who you are according to God's word. Live accordingly. Praise God. Now, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, can you raise your hand and take this prayer right after me? Dear Father, your word is the reflection of your immense glory, greatness, excellence, and success deposited in my spirit. I am the expression of your righteousness and the unveiling of your goodness to the world. I am the effulgence of your glory, perfections, beauty and grace, and I am conscious of your supernatural life in me. My life is indeed an unveiling of the virtues and perfections of divinity. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, that was a beautiful topic. Now, for you to understand this message even deeper, take time to study these following scriptures. From the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, preferably from the Amplified Classic, and the book of James chapter 1, verses 22 to 25, preferably from the New King James. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to share this to your world and see you again tomorrow. You're blessed. We trust. You have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. 
Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.